Today, we are trying to prismatic bridge our way into some big, powerful, and scary stuff. Let's see how it goes. What is going on, everybody? And welcome to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing exceptionally well today. I want to remind you before we talk about this, we do have a Streets of New Capenna draft booster box giveaway going on right now. One of the ways you can enter is subscribing to the channel. So please make sure you do that. Uh, there are three other free ways you can enter and then two bonus entries for patreon and youtube channel members uh, so if you want to check all that out there is a video on our youtube landing page you can check it out there we also have an article over on our website it resolves uh, where we link everything you can kind of see how how the breakdown works and all that uh, as we are getting into, I mean, this is really the last week of uh, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty Standard. We're, we're jumping into New Capenna very, very soon. Uh, and with that, we've been playing a lot more janky style decks. Uh, and with that, we've been looking at Country Fried a lot. <laughs> Country Fried, my man, I love your deck building style. They are so fun, uh, the decks that you create. And so... I, I went back and I found this one, uh, which is a five color bridge deck. It's mostly green, as you can tell, but the idea is we've got Prismatic Bridge. We also have a Kami War, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, this is obviously a World Tree deck, so we do have three World Trees in here. Uh, and once again, it features some of my favorite cards, including things like Scoot Swarm. We've got Ren and Seven. Uh, we've even got some fun stuff like In Search of Greatness, which is not a card that we see very often. Uh, we've got Mulches, which are going to help us find our lands. Binding, which is a great one. Uh, we get to Dryad's Revival cards. So this is going to... Anything we mulch away or whatever, we can just get it back with Dryad's Revival. Uh, and it does have flashbacks, so it's like a relatively safe bet. Dig Up gives us access to basically anything in our deck if we need it. Uh, we've got Lolth, we've got Ashaya, we've got Springleaf Avenger. Uh, so if you ninjutsu this out, return a uh, target permanent card from their graveyard to your hands. So a nice repeated way to do this. Um, just a really interesting, fun, silly style deck. Uh, so I'm excited to try this one out, guys. Uh, again, Country Fried, not only a great friend, but also just a fantastic content creator. I know he uh, started last year, late last year. Uh, and is an absolutely just amazing guy. So go hang out with him. Let's jump into this though, guys. Let's see how we do. Let's have some fun today. And again, Country Fried, thank you so much. I'll link your channel down below. Of course, I, of course, I got to do that. So guys, let's jump in. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. And how do we feel? Um, It's okay. I don't love it. Uh, we do have some ramp opportunity. And we do have both of our... <laughs> big things i'm gonna try it this is like not a great keep though i don't think um i'm actually gonna decline to show off a card here just because we don't have to um but yeah this is a uh, not ideal we'll say but i kind of just want to see if we can get some of these things out so that's what we're gonna do <laughs> all right so i assume they just take field trip here right like that's definitely the best option no they take lol okay uh interesting cool um Let's go ahead and do this nice okay that was actually really good so not only do we get the swamp which is a third color of mana for us but uh we also get a field of ruin got some more lands here i'm feeling okay oh yes that's so good okay so let's go ahead and field trip here get our forest and then also get a environmental sciences i suppose uh it really could be anything but yeah that seems pretty good all right I'm so stoked. I love this. There's potential here. We've got the world tree. Uh, we've got the environmental sciences. Ooh. Oh, I really want to just play this out, but it's not going to be... It's not going to be perfect this turn. That's the only trick. Um, dude, screw it. We're going for it. This is something that they have to answer. So basically the idea is we're going to make them try and answer this before we play anything big. And uh, that's going to waste a turn for them, ideally. Uh, if it doesn't, that's fine. But I think uh, throwing this out might actually be just a good call. So next turn, we do get to throw the bridge out. Hmm. Okay. So they have Thirst for Discovery. They're going to draw some cards. I assume they've got lands. 
Did they not play a land last turn? I haven't been paying attention. I'm so stoked about this deck. Country Fried, you build the funnest decks. Let me just say. Uh, for those of you who don't know Country Fried, he's the one that we did It Is What It Is with. Yeah, okay, so they did spend the turn answering. Great. Uh, he's the one we did uh, the It Is What It Is series with. And my goodness, was that a fun series. <laughs> Uh, we do have other things coming up with Country Fried that I am so stoked to say. Uh, it, I think it's going to be an absolute blast. Um, in fact, I know it's going to be an absolute blast just because I know how our dynamic works. So it's going to be great, guys. I do encourage you, if you're interested in podcasts, we will be having a podcast and it's going to be awesome. So uh, we have the bridge down, guys. Let's see what we hit here. Uh, we also have Kami War available, so if they play a permanent at some point... Oh, man! No! <laughs> nice. Uh, that's actually okay, because we did draw this. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and bring the bridge back. Uh, and I do think the bridge is probably the right call there. We can replay this as well at some point, so... Uh, well, I guess it really doesn't matter now. Cool. All right. Just like nothing ever happened. Uh, we've got the bridge back in hand. Um, we can dry as revival again if need be. Uh, all right. They're going to duress. I assume take the bridge. We could at some point go for the Kami War, but I kind of want to... I mean, I want to hit something with it. Oh, okay. Interesting. That might be very telling that they have like a Loth or something big coming. I don't know. We'll see. Very curious. Okay. Meat hook. I mean, I think we just slam bridge and hope they can't kill it, right? We're going for cool points today, by the way, guys. Just to clarify. <laughs> uh, that is 100% the goal. Um, I guess we just wait. I We do have this available. Can we... So we could... Well, we've only got two bridges, I guess, only. All right. Let's see what happens. Ooh, very cool. Yeah, I love that. Um, cool. So we have a way around this in hand. So that's fine. Oh, I love that. Uh, okay even better way of dealing with it. So let's go ahead and do this. Go ahead and kill Jenga Taxis. That's not a problem. And yeah, I think we just spread things out here and get as much down as we can. Do we meet Hook Massacre? I think not. Knowing that they're a Jenga Taxis deck, like we want to have answers available. Uh, so in my opinion, it's not correct to throw out that meat Hook Massacre just for the sake of like a couple points of damage. Um, Really curious to see what the Prismatic Bridge actually hits now. Uh, I love this this card. This is one of those cards that when it came out, everybody was just like, oh man, we're totally abusing this. And they did. But lately, I feel like we just haven't seen that much of it. And so it's kind of fun to, to jump back a little bit, look back on some awesome cards like this. It's just so sick. You just get free stuff every turn. Uh, and again, Country Fried did a great job of like throwing really powerful cards in this deck that are worth getting. Uh, I mean, we see the Kami War, we've got Renan 7, we've got Scoot Swarm, Lolth, all just really good stuff. Ashaya. Really, really cool stuff. Um, kind of want them to invest mana in a man land because we do have the Field of Ruins, so we can just kill it. Uh, but they do have a few cards in hand. It looks like, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, sure. I mean, we don't do anything about it. Well done. You spent a lot of mana to do that, though. Uh, cool. Get a forest. We're just deck thinning at this point. Um, we will reveal some stuff. Wow, we missed on everything. That kind of sucks. Uh, let's go ahead and pull something from the graveyard here. I think it's Loth. Um, that seems pretty good. Conveniently, we do get to leave up Field of Ruin once again. Um, Loth seems pretty good here just because we can drop this, start spreading some more damage out, and then, yeah, there we go, guys. We got the win. That was super sick. Very well done. All right, let's move on to game two. 
What's up, guys? Before we jump into the next game, I just want to remind you, if you would like to pick up this month's Patreon rewards, feel free to do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty easy keep. We've got the Druid class plus the Mulch, uh, both of which are playable. And worst case scenario, we can use Dig Up to go find a uh, Black Source here, uh, which is probably what we would need to get. We can actually Dryad's Revival the Dig Up if we would need uh, like just a tutor for something. So that's certainly a possibility. I'm going to go ahead and play the Druid class. Looks like we're up against Mono Green uh, Stompy, which is a very powerful deck, one that we definitely need to outpace at some point. But I think the idea is going to be to uh, gain a little bit of life in the, in the interim and theoretically kind of do some work there. Give me a couple lands. Okay, that's a couple lands. I'm cool with that. Let's do this. Gain a life. Uh, unfortunately, can't play two lands quite yet, but we got this. Uh, I think the tapped land, I mean, both of them are tapped lands, I suppose. So this actually has better outs to like a scoot swarm. Okay. Uh, yeah, not doing great here, to be honest. Um, let's, uh, let's do this. I think, uh, we'll Thornwood Falls. We'll do this, uh, getting close to like good territory to just kind of take over here um but we do need to get a black source so we're back up to 18 what we need to do is get another black source and then be able to meet hook massacre and just kind of get rid of the board here reset and uh continue kind of gaining life off of these uh, alternatively we can just throw out a big creature uh which is not bad that's very good because again we're now in the position of we can just meet hook massacre which i do think is probably just the safest play uh we can tap all of our mana get rid of the board here now we're in a position where we're able to kind of stabilize and hopefully uh you know continue the beat down we do need to get just something big here uh which is fine we can actually dryads revival the uh kami war and be in pretty good shape too so definitely a possibility nice uh yeah i really like that uh let's mulch first okay only one land but that's okay uh again we can fill the graveyard up because of these dryad revivals so this isn't really that big of a deal uh i think i actually blow up the uh yeah i think that's the correct call all right a 2-2 two -two is fine but we can deal with a 2-2 two -two pretty easily we've got lots of ways to deal with a 2-2 two -two. Exhibit A, just having better creatures. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Or more creatures. That's also a possibility. Um, hmm. What's the best option here? So we have, if we do one, two, three, we then have four mana available, which isn't a lot uh, in the grand scheme of things but it would set us up quite nicely for next turn. Alternatively, we can just like Scoot Swarm plus do something, or we could just play a big old thing with this. Uh, I'm gonna go the Scoot Swarm play and then um, go find a thing. Uh, I think we'll just take the Kami War. <laughs> and maybe we dig up uh, just to get an extra land on the field so we can go ahead and drop it gain a life and get a scoot storm token that might be incorrect i honestly don't know uh but we can actually pull that dig up back if we want so it's not really that big of a deal uh and again we now have the kami war that can deal with this so i'm gonna just block the six uh not super amazing by any means but it's uh it sets up a turn where we can potentially do some really good stuff so okay uh, this flips. Forgot about that. Uh, all right. We will. Hmm. Let's see. So we just basically want a meat hook massacre. I think that's like just the best option. Probably played incorrectly last turn, but you know what? That's okay. <clears throat> 
Let's pull a Shia. Shia is very good. It's really important that these do not have Trable. <laughs> uh, a Shia is just big, so this is going to make uh, things a little tricky for the opponent. This also does trigger the Scoot Swarms. <coughs> and gain us a lot more life. Um, not going to attack here, just to leave up extra blockers. I don't know that we need it, but just to be safe. And now they do flip back over, so that's good. Also, guys, I'm just saying it now. Wow, you have it. Oh, that's really sad. Okay. Uh, this new lens that I have on my camera makes things look so nice. <laughs> I love that. Look at, look at the nice, the nice blurred background you can see the little llama i love it all right sure this sucks but uh not the end of the world so we just do this uh take four so we can actually just blow up the brutal cathar which i think is probably the right call because then we just get a shia back uh ooh, and we can attack Ooh, i like that okay let's kami war Go ahead and get that Brutal Cathar out of there just so we can get a Shia back. Oh no! Sad day. Alright. Fair enough. That sucks. Really bad, actually. Um. So I'm gonna do this just for the fact it really doesn't matter what we hit here. They have all the mana they need. Uh, but this just gives us an extra Scoot Swarm trigger which is kind of the important part here. Uh, yeah. All right. Turn up to one other target non-land permanent to its owner's hand, and its opponent discards a card. So what we're able to do here is actually, if they don't flip, uh, toss the wolf back in their hand, and then they lose that giant creature, basically. They may flip uh, just to avoid that issue, though. Sure. Again, they don't have tramples, so like, uh, so we do have to return a permanent. I think it's pretty easily just the Meat Hook Massacre. And then they discard a card, sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, hmm. What do we want right now? I don't know what we want. I mean, we can just sweep. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we could just sweep the board. And then we get a Shia back and then set up for the next turn. Uh, do we think they can save stuff? Potentially. And that could potentially lose us the game. So that doesn't seem like the safe bet. Uh, uh, I'm going to do this. We're going to take back you actually okay uh that doesn't hit anything yet and that's fine let's go ahead and do this uh we'll just do this and no attacks i think that's the safe bet i the the reason we could lose is if they have a snakeskin veil uh after we meet hook massacre for eight they can use it on this which would not only save it uh, but also make it a 9-9, and we would just die. Um, as it stands, we can just block everything, and, like, we don't die, so... But they're not attacking, which is interesting. Um, okay, they're gonna fight this off. So basically, we're just running them out of resources. Like, that could have gotten us into a position of winning the game, but I also don't know that. Uh, and so, I feel like this is just the safer bet. Alright, so Kami War is going to flip. When it attacks, we get to do a bunch of stuff. That's cool. Uh, let's Prosperous Innkeeper first. This is a little bit of life gain for us, which is super relevant. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to brutal hit the Brutal Cathar here so we get two things back, um, which triggers a lot. <laughs> so that's good. Um, Ah. Yeah. 
So what we could do now is actually attack in with our Scoot Swarm tokens, just so... Man, we should have played this. Uh, although, yeah, and then a permanent card from our graveyard to our hand. Ooh, voice crack. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, actually, I'm going to do this. Uh, one of these is going to be un unblocked, so or at least one of these. So we actually just get to uh, do this. We'll then Jutsu out. Oh, auto pay. Go ahead. All right. And then do this. So we actually could have gotten a lot more with the uh, extra Scoot Storm trigger, but this is still a land. <laughs> uh, and so I think we're good. I really do think we're good. Uh, Country Fried, this is ridiculous, dude. I love this. This deck is so sick. It's right up my alley, and you know that because we've talked about this before. All right. Uh, yeah. So now they return a permanent, or we return a permanent. And I think it's actually just a land. Because we could just play it. It should have been the Evolving Wilds, actually. All right. Watch us gain more life. <laughs> Oh, this is so ridiculous. Country Fred, thank you for making amazing decks. This is such a blast. Um, yeah, I think we're, uh, we're pretty good. <laughs> so now they can basically attack us all they want, uh, but we just have more stuff. So next turn, unless they sweep the board, we win. And even if they sweep the board, we have ways to get everything back thanks to Dryad's Revival and just a Scoot Swarm in hand. So, feeling pretty good. Uh, opponent may be a little upset, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, well, they lost. Awesome. We did it. Uh, do we have time for another game? I feel like we can try it. Let's try for another one. All right, guys, here we are for our third game. Definitely going to be our last game. Uh, do we keep this? I think so. With the field trips, we can ramp into Renin 7 pretty quickly. We'll see. I don't know. But it's a, as it stands, a turn for uh, Renin 7. Excuse me, which I think is pretty worth keeping. Um, I love the little sound effects. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> this little dragon guy. Uh, opponent taking a minute. Um, kind of hate that because we're already a little. We're pushing time, guys. We're pushing time, but I I believe we can do it. So we're gonna we're gonna push forward. Uh, interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter what land we play here. Uh, ooh. Okay. Very cool. So this is gonna be the legendary bard class deck. Super, super sick deck. Um, let's go ahead and field trip it. Get a forest, and then this is a next turn. Uh, let's get. We do need to get black sources here just in case we don't get a world tree. So I do like pulling the environmental sciences first. Uh, but next turn, I think it's easy. Just red and seven, drop a big token, and hope they can't answer it. Really. Uh, this seems pretty good. Yeah, sure certainly a great card um this deck is really good by the way if you haven't played this deck it's amazing uh we also just have the dryads revival for if we need to bring the renin seven back so yep pretty good uh hopefully they can't deal with it once they get this going it's a big problem i would love to find wow arlen I would love to find like a Binding of the Old Gods to deal with the Bard class because that is such a powerful card for the deck. It's If you get rid of it, it like kind of shuts down a lot of potential things they could have. Nice. That's very good. Uh, the reason being is they double up on so many things. So it's like, okay, well, see what you can do. You know what I mean? Yep. I assume they attack with the 7-7. Seven, seven. I feel like there's no reason not to. Uh, do we block? I actually don't think so. I think we let Ren go down. Um, just because we've got other options here, so I don't think that's a big deal. 
that's pretty good uh let's do this this is actually really relevant because <laughs> we just get to pull a bunch of uh or create a bunch of tokens here and then um if they can't deal with them all we just get to block stuff so we really just have to survive a few turns and then these them by themselves should be able to kind of deal with whatever they do as long as they don't give trample not sure about the trample uh what they do they arland okay cool so they basically have played out their hand uh which is all fine a 12 12 that's so good uh yeah so here's the deal 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 do we take 21 i kind of don't want to take 21 um but i kind of need to keep the scoot swarms i'm gonna do this just to give us a little bit of life total padding because i do think we kind of need it uh yeah let's drop this uh so we can field trip um which i think is fine let's do that uh let's hit this why did it tap the way it did that was so stupid um i guess we'll just get this i don't know um and we can dryads revival for ren and seven which i think is probably just the best thing um all right now we just have to hope we don't die yeah we totally got this uh yeah this is scary for sure but we'll see what happens i would love what would i love here yeah. <laughs> honestly i don't know kami war would be pretty good ish but like they've got such a wide spread at this point that i don't even know that that's that worth it uh yeah that's good okay so we do have to sacrifice obviously a couple creatures here which sucks but uh we don't have to lose everything which is the important thing so if we do this we still lose quite a bit 5 10 15 so we do have to block another thing can we kill something here I mean, we certainly can do we want to kill something here is the question I actually think killing stuff here isn't the right call uh just because we any extra creature we have is like the equivalent of a multitude of creatures and so it seems really relevant to me that we uh don't lose any scoot swarms if we don't have to so they do get to draw a card which is great for them but we do have four scoot swarms i don't know we'll see what happens here uh, we also just have the Renin 7 token, which is big enough to stave off quite a few of their attackers. Like, we can just set up a world where we throw the Renin 7 down, um, and then we're basically able to uh, freely block almost everything. Dig up, huh? Um, it's pretty good. Okay, uh, let's do this first um definitely getting the black source gains us a little bit of life which is good let's drop this let's drop the renin seven let's drop the tree folk it's a pretty big tree folk um let's just throw this down I'm not gonna channel this so I think we just use it as like a blocker <laughs> it's really unexciting I know but uh all right at least yeah okay so these are on nightbound that's pretty scary does this give trample totally does all right so we might just die although they yeah well we might just die we'll see I am not sold. This is a cool mashup, though, I will say. Uh, we've kind of gotten not bad draws, but not the draws we'd like. Like, if we had a Prosperous Innkeeper as an example, we'd have so much more of a life total to deal with. 
as it stands now we're at seven <laughs> Uh, which is not good. Uh, and so we certainly just have to kind of push through with whatever we can and hope for the best. <coughs> Interesting. Okay. So cool that they can have multiple Arlens out. Wait, could they not have multiple Arlens out? Oh, they don't have Mirror Box. So yeah, they can't have multiple Arlen's out. Well, that's silly. Huh. All right. So mod this is so good. <laughs> uh, worth noting though, they took away their trample opportunity. Although they can give it trample, I suppose. It just won't get plus X because they have no mana. Uh, so that's actually pretty relevant. All right, do they just attack all? <laughs> uh, I think they do, yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, so I think we're just dead, to be honest. But what do we do? Um, yeah, I think we're definitely just dead. So here's the problem. They can basically just give any one thing trample and it doesn't really matter. Oh, this already has trample. Oh yeah, we're super dead. All right, I'm conceding. Uh, yeah, that. there's no way we could have done that. All right, fair enough. Let's talk about this deck. All right, guys, so first and foremost, I do want to just reiterate, Country Fried, you have built an amazing deck here, my friend, as expected. Uh, your, your jank building is top notch. Guys, go check out Country Fried. This is a really good example of the style of deck that he builds, and it's such a fun deck. <laughs> uh it's really kind of silly like it feels good that's kind of the the beauty of it is it does just feel good you're ramping into renin sevens you're ramping into lulfs like you're ramping into some big stuff that's very very good but it also has that little bit of jank aspect where you're trying to get like a prismatic bridge down or a kami war in a mostly green deck and just be able to to kind of take over the game with some big crazy stuff uh and so I love the the culmination of those two things into one single deck that does feel very, very good. So uh, once again, thank you so much, Country Fried. I really do appreciate you sharing this list over on Aether Hub. Go check him out. And guys, do stay tuned because we are going to be uh, doing some collaborative stuff in the future. On top of that, though, uh, I am very excited because Streets of New Cabana is almost out later this week. We're going to jump into it. Hopefully have a blast uh, with some brand new decks. We're going to do our best to get some extra content out for you guys, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, all in all, guys, though, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I love you all. I'll see you later.